Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very beautiful chess game. This is the game between Veselin Topalov and Vasil Ivanchuk that was played in Linares tournament in 1999. And where is Linares? Linares is the city in Spain. In this game, Topalov had white pieces and he started with knight to f3. Ivanchuk played c5. And after c4, we have English opening. Knight to c6, d4, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on d4. It is black to move. Knight to f6 is the most popular move in this position. Ivanchuk played e6. He wants to develop his bishop, possibly to b4. g3, idea is to fianchetto bishop to g2. Bishop to b4 check, knight to c3, queen to a5, there is lots of pressure on the knight on c3, knight to b5, not only defending knight, but threat is knight to d6, check, d5, it is white to move, he would love to play bishop to g2, but it is too slow. He can play bishop to f4, threat is knight to c7, check, winning rook, but then e5 would be played, and after bishop to d2, a6. So in the game, in this position, a3, attacking bishop, bishop takes knight, check, pawn takes bishop. And now Ivanchuk can see that knight to d6 may be coming. He ignored the threat. He played knight to f6 and Topalo played bishop to g2. Indeed, knight to d6 is not a problem. King to e7 and black is okay. So we have bishop to g2. Ivanchuk castled kingside. And now instead of castling, Queen to b3, taking care of pawn on c4. Pawn takes pawn, queen takes on c4. e5, idea is to develop bishop to e6, attack the queen, connect rooks. Knight to d6, bishop to e6, attacking queen, and queen to d3. And we have reached critical position of the game. It is black to move. Please note, this is not a killer move, but a very strong move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the best continuation for black in this position. Ready? Have you seen this? Rook from f to d8. Would you play this? That is a mistake. Topalov was ready to meet this move. Then he would play knight takes on b7, attacking queen and rook. If queen to c7, knight takes rook and white is better. What about rook takes queen? If rook takes on d3, then knight takes on a5, knight takes knight, and pawn takes rook, and white is better. Hmm. So what is the move then? The move is e4, sacrificing the pawn and activating all the pieces, taking advantage of the situation because white didn't castle yet and bishop is not developed, so rooks are not connected. Small price to pay, a pawn. Knight takes on e4. Knight takes knight. Bishop takes on e4. That is bishop takes on h7. Some people would play h6. But Ivanchuk ignored the threat. He played rook from a to d8, attacking queen. By the way, 
How would you know which rook to play to d8? Well, you have to know where would you like your other rook to go. So Ivanchuk is probably planning bring rook from f to e8. That's why rook from a to d8 is played. Attacking queen. Queen to c2. It is black to move. And in this position, Ivanchuk found a brilliant move. That is knight to d4. Bishop to h3 could be also played, preventing white from castling. But knight to d4 is even better. Attacking queen. Pawn is pinned, can't take knight. Queen to b2 was played. It is black to play and to play a killer move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the killer move that black played in this position. Are you ready? Would you play this? Knight takes pawn on e2. What are the options? If queen takes knight, then queen takes on c3, check winning rook. So this is not good, is it? What about queen to b4? Then this is what Ivanchuk had in store. Knight takes on c3, sacrificing the queen. If queen takes queen, then rook to d1, check mate. So Topalov played the obvious move. King takes knight. White is a piece up, but his king is not safe at all. Bishop on c1 is not developed. Rooks are not connected. Rook from f to e8 was played. Queen to b4. Topalov would love to exchange queens. He would be okay then. Queen to h5, check. f3, f5, attacking bishop. Can bishop move? If, for example, bishop takes on b7, we would have this continuation. Bishop to c4, double check. King to f2, check and check mate. g4 was played. Attacking queen. Queen to h3. Queen may be coming to g2. If king goes to f2, then pawn takes bishop, equalizing material and continuing the, the attack. Queen takes pawn. Bishop to d5, attacking queen. If queen goes to f4, rook to f8, and you get the picture. Okay, so we have pawn takes pawn, bishop takes pawn, check, king to h8, and the white is losing in all variations. To Palo played a rook to e1, Ivanchuk made a move and to power designed what is the move rook takes bishop is the nail in the coffin game over possible continuation is pawn takes rook check king to f2 check if king goes to e3 then check mate just like that and if king goes to f1 then bishop to h3 check mate what a game very impressive game by Ivanchuk wasn't it and that is all I hope that you enjoyed watching this video I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now